I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. Okay, do. Aside, can't. Okay. Uh. First things first, though. First things first. Oh my God! This is all just too much. I need a bath. <laughs> After a little contemplation and an awful lot of scrubbing, I have regained my composure somewhat. Yes, indeed. This latest development could turn out to be yet another opportunity. The Night Mother has spoken to me, which apparently, according to the texts, makes me the listener. Which kind of puts me in charge, in spite of what Astrid has said. This is probably going to cause a little um, tension between myself and her, and I need to manage that somewhat. However, I definitely want to investigate it a little more. I wonder... No! Okay. You are the listener. I am the you listener. Serve mother well, I have. I'm the listener. And I can listen really well without you screaming and shouting. We can talk quietly and calmly, okay? I am the listener. Why don't you become the whisperer, perhaps? Hmm? I know you're the keeper, but we could have a new job for you. The being very quieter. Hmm? Cicero. Did you want to be the listener? You know you did. Be honest. Let's just clear the air here. Oh, well, yes, I did. I did indeed. I tried to listen. <laughs> tried so hard. But the Night Mother never spoke to poor Cicero. The silence became almost... maddening. Uh oh! But that Almost. was then, this is now. You're the listener, and the Night Mother chose you for a reason, I'm sure. Cicero uh, will remain the happy keeper. Yeah. It, it does occur to me the reason she never chose you as the listener was she was having difficulty getting a word in edgeways. Um, however, what ex is she going to speak to me again? And I'm just tell me, tell me I don't have to climb in the damned coffin each time. Surely you're pulling Cicero's leg. No, I really am not. <laughs> the listener is serious. <laughs> oh. Well, yes. of course the Night Mother will speak to you again. She might speak now or later or... I don't know. But speak she will. The Night Mother is part of you now. You get to hear voices inside your head. The rest of us should be so lucky. Oh, dude, dude, I'm pretty damn sure you hear voices in your head. Um, and what exactly does the listener do? I sort of know this. I have read, I have read the text. I do my homework. I am a conscientious student. Oh, the listener, well, listens. <laughs> the Night Mother speaks to you, guides you on your path. But when the Night Mother speaks, the listener must obey. You must, for her word is the will of Sithis, and Sithis is the Dark Brotherhood incarnate. And we probably don't want to upset Sithis any more than we want to upset Nocturne. Are you excited? Oh, you um, should be. Things are finally looking up. A little excited. No, excited's the wrong word. Intrigued. Interested in the possibilities, but at the same time, still kind of freaked out. Yes, indeed. Where that's Babette's place. I'm looking for Nazir. There he is, having breakfast again. This is a man who enjoys his food, which I can appreciate. Hello, Nazir. Still here. What's the matter? 
can't handle what I'm throwing your way. I handled it just fine. Those three beggars were absolutely terrifying, but I managed it, remember? Astri told me to see you about more work. Well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. An happy hunting. Orc bard and a vampire. Okay, t tell me about the bard. He is, by all accounts, the worst bard in all of Skyrim. Apparently, so many people sought his death, Astrid had to hold a lottery to determine the client. Really? He's that bad that so many people have performed the Black Sacrament that we needed to sort of draw straws? Okay, tell me about Hearn. He's a vampire and has blended into human society for years. He's never far from his female companion, Hurt, also a vampire. The contract is for the male turn, turn, but you'll probably have to contend with the female, too. So for Sithis's sake, watch yourself. Y okay, um, I don't have any poisons that will work on a vampire. I'm, 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 or do they? Do poisons work on vampires, on the undead? I would have thought not, but you never know. Maybe they do. We can but try, I suppose. Um, oh. Good luck. Okay. And try not to get yourself killed. Yeah. I'm wondering if anybody else around here has got an opinion on anything. And have I looted everything? Um, for example, Babette. Don't take this the wrong way, but do you... It's been quite a boon, looking like a child. No one ever suspects a thing. Yeah, no, no, okay. Uh, you know what? I might as well sell some stuff. I was really, really hoping you could give me some information on how to kill a vampire, but that, that's probably a rude question anyway. Ah, so you're an alchemist then? I'm a very good one. Thank you for asking. Cicero's journal. Is this his room? I don't see iron ore. Hi, how are you? Do you mind if I uh, pick some mushrooms? You know, for stuff. Hmm. I uh. Yeah, just just checking, just checking. Oh, I want those journals. Ooh, I definitely want to read those journals. So. We've got a kill book who can be found where? Can I, uh... Okay. Morthal! I have a piece of the Merun's razor to pick up in Morthal, so that could work out, couldn't it? Although, how the hell am I gonna get there? I'm going to have to try and find... Oh. I could. No, I'm not riding all the way there. You know how I'm getting there? I'm taking. A, I'm taking the horse to uh, White Run, and then I'm. Uh, I'm going to take a carriage to Morthal. Yes, indeed. And the other contract was Hearn, and that ah, is a little closer, near Half Moon Mill. I think that is probably the first one. Now, that's going to be the tough one. Asleep. Even better. Part 1. 18th of Evening Star, 4th Era, 186. As I begin this new phase of my life, I've decided to finally keep a journal. So much has happened to me thus far, both within the Brotherhood and without, when I think there is no record of what has transpired, it almost seems an affront to Sithis himself. He writes a lot more lucidly than he speaks. So I am determined to make amends. Yes, the Dark Brotherhood 
has its own scribes and chroniclers, but it is their solemn task to record those events deemed important to the organization as a whole. Let this volume serve as the personal record of one man, a lowly assassin who has pledged his blade and life for the Dark Brotherhood. 23rd of Evening Star, 4th era, 186. I've arrived safely and chained all sanctuary and have been greeted warmly by Rasha and the others. Indeed, the level of support and acceptance shown by my new family is rather overwhelming. For this sanctuary, no suffering, no sorrow, for the ghosts of purification still haunt its halls. Yeah, I heard about that. So who better to understand the plight of a brother who's lost home and hearts? Who better to comfort one whose sanctuary is no more? The Bruma sanctuary may be gone, but my dearest brothers and sisters will live forever in my dreams, just as their souls live forever by the dread father's side. First Rain Hand, 4th era, 187. Completed the Baroness contract. She died well. Her handmaiden, less so. Okay. Twelfth of Rain Hand. Chaindal suits me. With the destruction or abandonment of the other sanctuaries, our contracts are plentiful, as are our bonuses. Still, we seem to be losing our footholds throughout Tamriel at an alarming rate. There are rumours that the Black Hand is split on our continued direction. Some favour expansion, the others consolidation. My personal feeling is that the Dark Brotherhood needs to, at the very least, maintain the illusion of being everywhere at once. Yes, that's actually very important. You, you want everyone to think you can get anywhere. And that if a contract doesn't get fulfilled, it's because we decided we did not want to do it, or it was uh, beneath us or something. Not, we just didn't have the manpower. A lot of this is marketing, it really is. It has become exceedingly difficult to fulfill or even establish contracts in provinces where, provinces where we no longer have a physical pre presence like Hammerfell. The more we ignore Tamriel, the more people lose faith in the Dark Brotherhood. Our power, our services, our dedication to the void. Yep, and perception is everything. I mean, really, the Dark Brotherhood is its name. It's a brand. It really is. 27th of Rain's Hand. The listener, Alessane Dupre, has been visiting with us for several days, down from her private residence in Bra Braville. She and Rasha have been discussing the possibility of reopening the Shadow Scale training facility in Archon in Black Marsh, but ultimately decided we lacked the resources to follow through with the plan. 27th of Rain Hand completed the arena contract. I ultimately decided to pose as a starstruck fan and immediately got into the Grand Champion's good graces. Okay, an adoring fan by any chance. While escorting the arrogant fool through the great forest, I slashed his throat and left the corpse for the bears. All right. Oh, oh no, I did not mean to take the journal. I wanted to leave it on the... don't want people to know you've read their diaries, don't bloody take them. It was right there, wasn't it? It was, it was there. You know, if we decide it's uh, useful to have, we can always come back for it. Oh, what? I didn't... Oh. God, you know what? He's mad. He'll never know. I'm just going to take it. He's mad. He's a madman. He'll never know. Right. Uh, wrong. Part two. I didn't actually mean to. <sighs> Seventh of Sun's height. Wayrest is lost. The city fell to Corsairs, and it's just a matter of time before sanctuary is breached. May the Night Mother watch over her children in their hour of need. Fifth of Last Seed, Fourth Era, 188. We received word today the Wayrest Sanctuary was raided and destroyed by the Corsairs. There will be no survivors. There are now only three active Dark Brotherhood strongholds remaining. The Che and Dahl Sanctuary, here in the Imperial Province. A remote sanctuary, located in the forest of, in Skyrim. And the Corinth Sanctuary of Elsewhere. Okay. Che and Dahl. Are you sure there's not one on the north coast? I've seen a door. 
The Black Hand has ordered the current sanctuary closed and its members integrated into our ranks here in Chaindal. I will embrace these new family members as warmly as I was when I first made my home here. 27th of Hearthfire. The situation in Braville grows more dire. The city has erupted in violence due to a war of control being waged by Cyrodiil's two largest schooma traffickers. The listener, Alessandre Dupre, has been forced to employ cell swords to protect her own residence. First of sun dusk. Things in Braville have come to a head. The statue of lucky old lady has been destroyed and Alessandre Dupre has left her residence to guard the crypt of the Night Mother hidden below the remains of the statue. If the crypt is discovered, Alessandre Dupre will, of course, protect the remains of the unholy matron until her dying breath. Russia is sending Garnag and Andronica to aid in the crypt's defence. I beg to accompany them, but Russia wouldn't have it. He says my place is here, defending this sanctuary, and I must, of course, respect that decision. Twelfth of Sundusk. Botched my contract and forfeited, forfeited the bonus. The silk merchant was already cold and I was halfway through the window when her daughter stepped into the room. I had little choice at that point. 21st of Sundusk. So much has happened since my last entry. After Garnag and Andronica left for Bravel, we stopped receiving communications from the city. We feared the worst. This morning those fears were confirmed when Garnag returned alone transporting a most precious cargo, the great stone coffin of the Night Mother herself. The stone Garnag could told could curl the blood of even the most hardened of Sithis servants. The crypt of the Night Mother raided. Dearest sister Andronica cut to pieces, and the listener herself, the most honoured Alessandre Dupre, burned alive in the storm of mage fire. It's amazing how they, they, they sound he sounds so shocked. They 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 desecrated the crypt and they killed some of us. It was terrible. But only assassins who worship death. Garnak, though gravely injured, he will most certainly lose his right eye, managed to fend off the atta attackers and transport the Night Mother's coffin safely out of the city. He's been on the road, making his way back here since that tragic night. Okay. So at which point did Cicero become totally mad? 23rd of Sundusk. Now, the things have, now that things have settled down, the reality of our situation has finally come to bear. We are a dark brotherhood without a listener. With no listener, the Black Sacrament will go unheard. Surely the Night Mother will speak to someone soon, thus choosing a new listener to take Alessandre Dupre's place. Until that happens, though, we must take to the streets. We must hear the pleas of the desperate and vengeful. The people of Tamriel must not know, must never know that their prayers to the Night Mother are going unheeded. Okay. See, he does have a good understanding of um, the marketing aspect, definitely. 24th of Morning Star. Oh, that was 189, wasn't it? Right. It is a new year and two months since the Night Mother's first arrival here at Chaindal Sanctuary, and still the unholy matron has not seen fit to speak to any of us. And so Rasha has decided to revive an ancient Dark Brotherhood tradition of appointing a keeper a guardian whose sole duty is the safeguarding of the Night Mother's remains. The remaining members of the Black Hand will make their decision tomorrow. 25th of Morningstar. I have been chosen. By some incomprehensible twist of fate, the Black Hand has named me the Night Mother's Keeper. In all honesty, I'm both incredibly honoured and deeply saddened. This means the end of my contracts. I'll be lucky to lift a blade again. Thankfully, Rasha has promised me one final contract before I accept my new duties. 30th of Morning Star. The jester lies dead. My final contract has been completed, and how he laughed and laughed until he didn't. Did you take the outfit of your last victim? I have settled well into my new role as keeper. It is my duty to not only keep the Night Mother's shrine clean and the candles lit, but to tend to the body as well. The Night Mother's crypt was a consecrated place, shroud-kissed, absent of sunlight, and safe from the world above. Removed from the remains... Removed from there, the remains are subject to the filth and corruption of the living. The body is perfectly preserved, so the concern is not physical, but rather spiritual. The remains must be sanctified regularly, 
so that they may continue to serve as a conduit for the Night Mother's soul. Our matron's eternal spirit may travel the void freely, but it is through her earthly remains that she communicates with the listener. And so I wash the corpse weekly with the requisite oils, recite the ancient incantations, and personally see to the extermination of any insects or rodents. If the Night Mother does not speak, it will be because she chooses not to, not because she is unable. This is my responsibility. This is my vow. Twelfth of mid-year. Months and months and months and no listener. Why won't the Night Mother speak to me? I'm worthy as keeper, but not as listener. I protect our lady, keep her sanctified, but still she will not grace me with her voice. Fourth of sun's height. So long since I worked my blade, so long since I saved a soul, but I'm now keeper, no longer a taker. I think back fondly on my hours with the jester, his laughter, his screams, his pitiful cries. So you tortured him? Okay. But then as the end drew near, his laughter once more, merry in death as well as life, I was honoured to know him. Was that the beginning of the end of your sanity? Perhaps? Or was it the cleaning of a corpse non-stop? First of Hearthfire. Chandal has erupted into violence and chaos, like so many other cities before it. The sanctuary has remained unbreached, but for how long? Our numbers are few, and with no speaker, the contracts have dwindled almost to nothingness. Rash's hold on the sanctuary is slipping. 26th of Frostfall. Silence. Deafening silence. In my head, in my head, in my head. It is the silence of death, the silence of the void, seeping into me through the mother. The silence is hatred, the silence is rage, the silence is love. Fourth of Evening Star. Today Rasha declared himself listener, claiming the Night Mother spoke to him at last, but when questioned he could not name the binding words, liar, deceiver. His charade must not stand. Fifth of Evening Star. Rasha is dead. As commanded by the silence, so did I obey. I did not wield the knife, oh no, but dipped the honey softly sweet into Garnak's eager ear. He is a good brother, a loyal brother, to both Cicero and our matron. He did the deed gladly. Tenth of Sun's Dawn, Fourth Era, 190. Only three of us left, Cicero, Garnag, Pontius. Fifteenth of Sun's Dawn, Fourth Era, 190. The Night Mother remains silent, I remain unworthy. The sanctuary remains doomed. Third of First Seed. I can hear it, deeper and deeper, louder and louder, punctuating the silence like thunder on a calm evening. Laughter. Laughing, 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 laughing. It is the jester, a voice from the void, to cheer poor Cicero. I accept your gift, dearest Night Mother. Thank you for my laughter. Thank you for my friend. Sixteenth of Rain's Hand, 191. Pontius is dead. A Dark Brotherhood assassin was killed by a common bandit while walking the streets of Cheyendal. How can something so sad be so funny? Seventeenth of Rain's Hand. I love the laughter, dearest Dark Mother, but still I long to hear your voice. It's not too late. Speak to me, my mother. Speak to me, that I may set things right. I can save the sanctuary. I can save the Brotherhood. You can have the laughter. Take it back and exchange then the laughter for your voice. Second of second seed. It's not safe to leave the sanctuary. We'll stay here. All is well. I suspect all is not well. 29th of last seed. Garnak is gone. Gone, 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 gone. Left to get food, but he'll be back. It's only been three months, three months, three months, twelve months, four slots. Right. 21st of Sun Dusk, 192. Cicero is dead. Cicero is born. The laughter has filled me, filled me so very completely. I am the laughter. I am the jester. The soul that has served as my constant companion for so long has breached the veil of the void, finally and forever. It is now in me. It is me. The world has seen the last of Cicero the man. Behold, Cicero, fool of hearts, laughter incarnate. 28th of Sundusk, 200. 
found the old journal decided to write a treatise on silence, sound, darkness and light. How long has it been since the dark night mother first came here? How long since I was made keeper? How long since I became the fool? Since I've been alone? Since Chandal fell? Since they started pounding on the door like so many hammered heartbeats? It's dark in here and quiet. Poor Cicero no longer hears the laughter, for he is the laughter. There is no listener in Chandal, no listener in Cyrodiil, no listener in me. We must leave here. Before the sanctuary falls, before the night mother burns, before the dark brotherhood withers, before the laughter dies. Twenty-ninth of sundusk, I took a stroll and spied a maid, but matron's duty stayed my blade. So busy now, I miss the thrill, if only I had time to kill. So we end on a rhyme. Oddly appropriate. Yes, it is. Okay, should we talk? We probably should talk. Please, not now. You'll know when I'm ready to discuss the issue. Yeah, no, all right. We probably shouldn't talk. No, you're absolutely right. My, my thoughts, exactly. Okay, it's the middle of the night and it's raining. In actual fact, it might even be a good idea to do this at night, because it's not that far away. However, I think what I want is night vision, and I want it for quite some time. So I'm just going to go back in there and use the alchemy bench, and I'm going to take a few potions that will last a while, and then we can traipse up, down, sorry, it's more of a down, isn't it? Down the hill to that mill, and uh, see what we can make of those vampires. I'm sure it's going to be, um, I don't know, an interesting contract. That is a lot better, isn't it? Look at that. Yes, indeed. And I've now got, I've got a little while where I've got increased block. Illusion's not really, really that good. Light armor, one-handed, sneak, and I'm regenerating health and stamina for, for a long while, actually. So stamina and health will be regenerating very fast, and I've got a lot of resists as well. And since we're facing... We're facing vampires, that could be a good thing. So, let's ride... Clearly. <laughs> I say clearly. Clearly riding. Riding whilst being able to see clearly. This is like a nice summer's day. Beautiful. Oh, stopped raining. Still pretty damn dark, though. Oh, I love being an alchemist. Yes, I do. I don't know who you think I am, and I don't care. Leave me alone. These guys keep harassing people. Now come along quietly, and we won't have to get robbed. Brother, I think she's telling the truth. I keep seeing these guys wandering around, harassing people. Well, women mostly. Um, actually, nothing but women as far as I remember. I've seen them two or three times now. All right. Let's check this place out. Look how glorious it is. I'm also going to remove the torch bug. Really don't need it. So, we're looking for sign of vampire. Let's have a... Hello? We found Hurt. Where would Hearn be? I'm tempted to leave you here. Yes, stay. I will miss you. Here. I don't actually have a contract for her. 
Most decent people are warm in their beds right now. Right. Well, and most nefarious people and vampires are not. Okay. Let's see what we can see in here. Do. Seeing anybody? No, I'm not. I may as well, you know, while I'm here. Old habits die hard. It's not even a habit, it's a choice. Yes, it is. And I could give it up any time. But I'm just never going to. Okay, so they don't have sweet rolls, which is not a huge surprise. Then if... Oh, I totally forgot. I really should decide what I'm doing with my life. Yes, I should. Hurt and Hern. Where is Hern? Okay, and the guard doesn't seem to mind the vampire lady, so... Fair enough, I guess. We could talk to her and say, Hello, where's your friend? I just came to say hello. Yes, I did. I'm not seeing anything, he says, forgetting to put the night vision on. Can you see... A oh, no. I thought someone was sat there. It's not. It's a wheel. Shall I just chat with her? Hello, hurt. Hearn and I do so adore guests. These guards are such a bore. Oh, it's terrible. Um, do you get many guests? We have guests as often as we can, but there aren't a lot of travelers these days. The war keeps people off the roads. And what precisely do you do with these guests? What? You actually are lumber mill workers. Is that your... Really? Do you like it out here, away from everything? Other people just make things complex. Out here, Hearn and I can get everything we need from the occasional traveler. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you can. Um, I'm, uh, what locations does this mill supply? We supply Falkreath to the south. Until recently, we supplied Helgen. Falkreath trades with the surrounding holds, and without our wood, they would have trouble keeping their prices low. Okay, then. Well, thank you very much. I'd you... better get going. Yes, you've been very, very helpful, believe it or not, mostly because looking at you uncovered the location of uh, your mate. Who is there? Is the sun coming up soon? It is a bit lighter, isn't it? Right. So, first things first. I've been saving... Ah, it's been boosted. Of course it has. I've been saving up a little perk for this. I, I do believe now might be a good time for it. Let's just casually walk on by. And... Right. So. I'm assuming this is her. And... It is dark, but vampires have excellent vision. Let's make sure I've got... Oh, I've already got it poisoned. Mm, okay. Is him, it is. Okay. Let's see if I can get this to work. Paralysis drains magic up. That could be good, actually, if it drains up in case he's got magic powers. This might be the time to use that. He's immune to put. He hasn't noticed me, but he's immune to my. Poison. Um, how about normal one then? Damages. That's a big one, that is. Let's let's just go big. 
So they are immune to poisons. Bloody hell. Out of curiosity, did he have anything worth stealing? Uh, I tell you what, it's not worth failing again. I just want to... Okay. That's... One way of doing it. Just stab him in the face. Oh, he's got... Why did he... The skull of Hearn. Now, I didn't have the option to take the skull of... Is it just for Nazir? Is, should I speak to Nazir and say, do you have a thing about skulls? Because, you know, if so, I might be able to help you out. All right. Has she noticed? She may have noticed. She may have noticed. She is coming over. Maybe we should dispatch her. She's not seen me. Because it is... Well, vampire, she should be able to see. Oh, please don't attack Inigo. Is she attacking Inigo? Is she just going to take it out on him? She'll be like... I know it was you. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Is she saying, I yield, I yield? Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Don't. Spotted. Okay. I am with you. We don't need to do anything with her. Okay. And that was the tough contract. Wait. You don't think it's the orc bard that's going to be the tough contract, do you? Okay, what is this? Where are we exactly? I'm pretty sure we've... Mr. Dragonfly, try to keep quiet. You are distracting my steed. Yeah, Mr. Dragonfly. Stop distracting. Hi. Barley Dark I'm on my way to Windhelm farm. to join up with the Stormcloaks. Ulfric has the right of it. Am I hearing a weird screaming sound? I'm sort of feeling like I'm hearing screaming. What is this? Uh. Ooh. It's treasure is what it is. Ah, we've got a puzzle. Yep. Okay, it's a deer, it's a deer. Right, so... Um... And what is the puzzle then? What is the... Is there a clue? Is there a... I'm hearing a weird scream. I am hearing a we weird scream. Ah, right. So we've got a snake head. So does this mean this one should be set to snake? This is there's a snake head here. And this one should be set to Or is it whatever's Pointing at it. No, it looks like this one should be set to Hawk because of that. And then this one should be set to something different, or is that not? Okay, well, we had Snake and we had Hawk. Let's do something different. Whale? Well, excellent. Brilliant. And a hypothetical treachery. What is that? A hypothetical treachery. Destruction increased. Okay. 
Ooh. Ooh. In the go. This actually allows me to now... Ooh, what to... T I think health. I think health. Right. I can... I can actually take yet another sneak skill. Clean escape we've already got. Smoke screen could be useful, but um, honestly, this once a day thing just sort of... Yeah. Problem solver. Sneak attacks deal 10% more damage for each 200 points of health the target has. Up to 50% more damage. So essentially, if we come across something that's got 1,000 health, I will actually do 50% more damage than normal when hitting it. That does sound like a good idea. Breaking invisibility with a power attack is a guaranteed critical. Yeah, you see, that, that does seem like it might add the last little bit of extra damage. Alchemy, not quite at 70 yet. However, do I need that much more damage now? Or should I use some of these for um, on the run? Tough question. Or save for alchemy. That is the other option. I am very close to being able to make pure potions. That would be a nice one. Yes, it would. The other perks for alchemy seem less... Hmm, useful. Uh, th there is Alkahest, which reduces the armor, but with the sort of poisons I use, armor is not that much of a problem. Although, would that then work against robots? Ooh, that could. That could make them more effective against robots, couldn't it? Yeah. Stimulants, magic and stamina. Every time I take a potion, it boosts magic and stamina. Yeah, not really too useful. Could be useful. You know what? Let's think about it. Let's think about it. And that dog barking at us. Right. Let's be. Okay. There's a there's 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 a, there's a giant coming this way. Let's um do our best to avoid it. There's two giants coming this way. Let's really do our best to avoid them. Yes, indeed. And what is up there? None of our business. That is what's up there. Let's carry on and try to get to Morthal before this night vision and all of my other potions wear off. Is that the fort? I think that is the... <sighs> Leave the night vision on. Yeah, the, the, the choices seem to be travel through up this road and then go cross-country to another bit of road and then slide down to s some sort of... I don't know what's there. Get through there and then go to Morthal. Or... Turn right. Avoid yet another giant. And take the carriage to Morthal. Because whilst Morthal may not have a carriage of its own, one will go there. Right. Okay. Torches. And I'm... Thirsty. I did not expect people to be awake at this time of night. No, I did not. What's the Yarl going to do about it? How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Please, enough already. I have told Igrid of your concerns. She'll look after you all. Please, go about your business. We have no need for wizards in our midst. Morthal has enough problems as it is. Ah, it's no use. Let's get back to it then. Okay, so nobody likes wizards. I'm not alone in this. Am I hearing Nern Root? I'm hearing Nern. I'm hearing it. It's annoying me. 
Right. So we're looking for an orc bard and... Ah. Alchemist. And... What is this? This looks tavernish. More side in. If we're going to find a bard, one would imagine we would find it in a tavern. It. Him. Him. Although. Hello, Lost Legends. Innkeeper! Do we have an innkeeper? Hello? No, we don't have an innkeeper. Oh. Hello, innkeeper! Oh. Not an innkeeper. Um. This is the man. Orc. We're supposed to be, um. Okay. I know this is going to sound absolutely insane. Okay, he's waking up. No, he's going back to bed again. Look, I know this is insane. I know we're supposed to kill him because he's the worst bard ever. But, um... I kind of want to hear him sing. 